What's up, folks? L up here on set from Creative Sound. Yes, indeed, you are looking at my screen and it happens to have Pro Tools on it. Absolutely. I keep this on my system for reasons such as this. I've gotten a session over from a client and it happens to be in Pro Tools. There are still a lot of people in this world that use Pro Tools and so, uh, yeah, it's always good to be prepared. I happen to have Pro Tools 10. Um, although we are at um, 12 or 13, 14, 15, I don't know. <laughs> I still, I stopped at 10. There's no reason for me to update as long as it works. I'm good. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys that are um, either you are Pro Tools users or you someone like me to have both and you need to convert it over because you want to mix in Studio One, which is what I will be doing. Or uh, someone that's, I don't know, you need this information because you need to convert it over. Um, it's a good idea to label everything first that's the first step here because right now everything is audio audio two audio dub audio 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 there's a couple of oxes in here and i say that because when you send this file out to a mix engineer uh it it helps him out you know now i know that there's mixed engineers who charge by the hour so if he has to go through each and every single track he's going to charge you for that time you will get taxed for that absolutely you know and then we have to go through and listen through the track and see what it is individually and then give it a label seeing what it is but i'm not going to do that you know i i don't really enjoy working in pro 2 so i'll just export everything out like this that is totally fine but that's just a quick tip for you guys um it's also idea well it used to be idea to get everything to like i'll bring the mix over here like everything in the middle everything zero you know unity gain no panning no nothing right but for the sake of this video i wanted to show you guys another method because this method allows more information to come through versus the regular method the regular method um and it's still powerful is useful for other dogs that that can't read aaf yes we are talking about aaf which is a feature that personas inserted inside of studio one so we now have that capability but basically what the the normal route will be is to actually like select everything from start to the end right and then we'll go here to edit and go to consolidate clip and basically what that will do is it'll take each file line by line and start from one all the way to the end of the song and create a, a pretty much a consolidation right so in the event of areas that are silent like it just it'll just be silent until we get here boom then it would print that information and then go silent again thereafter right which is really cool because the whole idea is to get everything at one so when i bring these files over via wave everything will start at one and everything will line up in place which is dope but this method right here i like the fact that um the recording engineer went ahead and took the initiative to kind of clean it up so I look at it as him helping me out in, in a sense. And I like to be able to see, like, I like to have this information. You know what I'm saying? Like all of this details will come over via AAF. Now with the fades, I've noticed, like if there is fades in there, it, it's not gonna translate over like a fade. It's gonna be like another file, but I'm gonna show you guys something pretty cool. Even though it does it, it could be annoying, but I mean, it is what it is. You are coming over from Pro Tools to Studio One, which is two different, two different platforms, right? So the fact that they gave us AAF is like a blessing. So I am not complaining. But uh, so this is how you do that. You go here and uh, first of all, you need to make sure you select all the tracks that you wish to bring over. That's the first step. You don't even have to select any, you know everything here like before if you was consolidating everything if you were consolidating everything and say like you were sending it off to somebody working in reason or something like that you definitely would need to go um after you do all of that you need to export everything out um i believe i can't remember which one it was bounce to this i think it was bounce to this that that was that was the normal method 
yeah you will bounce to this and you just change this to wave and convert blah blah you know that, that was that was old the old method i can't believe i forgot that but the, but what we're doing here is uh converting all of the files to aaf all right so i just want to make sure that this says aaf none of this at the top needs to be checked in your version of pro 2s may look different from mine because like i said i'm still working in 10 but uh just fyi none of this have to be checked in we're just focusing on the audio media options that's it make sure that this says wave which is a a file that is uh translatable across all dolls and all systems uh 24 is good now i noticed that uh copy from source media and consolidate from source media are two different two different options but i don't think they are different in any way not for the purpose of what i'm using it for it's very minimum information um i just think this is just i don't know i really don't know what that what this is but it, I, I test both methods and it there's no difference um link to m source media i don't even know like i wouldn't check that in my head i'm thinking no, i don't want to source i don't want to link to the source i just want to i, I want to copy from the source media because i want my own files maybe i should check and test that i don't know but i, I just always done it this way All right milliseconds uh i don't touch it it just stays like that that's fine you know so you're gonna uh hit okay you're gonna give your file a name um i'll just say hard life because that's the name of the track hard life and we're gonna hit okay uh, i'm just gonna create a whole new folder just for the sake of this um test two spell it different how about that test two t s t two all right so let's save it there and there's going to be another window that pops up uh asking you where, where you want to save your files so i think another folder is uh appropriate and i'm i say that because uh it just makes things easier or you don't have to create another another folder at, at the second window that's fine but here's what it's going to look like so i'm just trying to make it simple for you guys so i've done this test before obviously so this is what what it looks like if you was to, to like not save uh not not create that second folder it's going to look like that and then you have to scroll down and find that AAF file because this is the file you need and know you know to, to work with to bring over into Studio One, right? So this is the new file we created, right? So it, it just makes it easy. So that's that folder that they save everything in, and this is going to be that file. So you don't have to really go searching for that file, right? All right. So if I go to Studio One, basically this is what's going to happen stay at the start screen and then you just take that file and bring it over it's going to automatically create the file or create the the project right so it took everything in that pro 2 session and brought it over with all of the the data information as to where the different track starts all of the cuts and also the fades but i'm gonna show you how different that is so like for the fades i'm gonna go to somewhere where there would have okay for instance here's a fade right here right so this file here there was a fade here at the end so it just created a file saying fade 63 <laughs> So that so that's that's what happens, you know. I am not tripping. I'm I am totally fine by that. And it, as you can see, you can see the audio kind of the audio actually is fading. It's, it's going from, you know what I'm saying? It's de decreasing in volume. It's fading. It's actually fading. So that's that. 
the cool thing about this is um say uh you didn't want that to fade you actually want that to play out because you you know for whatever reason you can actually delete that because these files are non-destructive ain't that cool that's cool i like that so right there it's like okay cool you can lead the fake there i mean it's still doing the same thing but you know you can bring stuff back you know it so also even with, with the other cuts you know like there's cuts here but if i bring this file back say like we got rid of all of that i could bring this file back oh that was actually a real take then never mind but let me see if I can find something else that he may have. Uh, let's see. There we go. There's one right there. This was actually one full take. And all he did was went and cut and cleaned it up. And me as the mix engineer, I can appreciate that. That's less work that I have to do. And a, a quicker... A quicker... Uh, finish time i can meet the deadline quicker soon sooner because i don't have to work as much cleaning up whatever and if i feel like uh like i say if if if, if he made an error it's it's cool that these files are non-destructive i can pull it back at any time now i just have to spend more time labeling everything <laughs> you know that's that's the thing i got to deal with but that's that's totally fine because it's uh it would have been a full consolidated file which is also fine as well but me most of the times i was going to go in and do what he did cut it you know and, and do different things so he pretty much did that for me great all right so i i, I showed you how to convert your pro Tools files over to studio one and i also remind you guys as to the old way which is consolidating and bringing it through that way the old method the longer route but um you know you gotta do what you gotta do all right all right this is ella from creative sound signing out remember music is art you the artist paint your picture stay creative with that ruse enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you ku.creative.com creative university stay creative without rules one more thing if this voice intrigue you and the music make your soul move my name is ellen thank you <laughs> i'm done <laughs>